time to get another adventure in the desert started. Hey, this is cool. We're riding in Timna today. It's gonna be a big old cross country adventure. Wow, this is cool. Wow, I actually feel a little chilly. This is good. Once the clouds go away, it's gonna be a little warm today. This is the site of an ancient copper mine. The Egyptians would come up here and grab some copper. <laughs> 22 miles and 1500 feet of climbing. It's pretty flat, but man, if it's like that start, that's awesome. Make the most of the elevation. Oh man, good to have a crunchy drivetrain on a big long XC ride. And of course, this is our local guide, Tall, leading the way. Wow, when that sun comes out, it just <laughs> lights everything up. That is cool. We already know that in the comments, everybody's gonna be like, why'd you only ride in the south? What is going on? because the north is rainy right now. Can't be riding in the rain. South is so beautiful. These trails have been amazing so far. This really feels like Mars. <laughs> All the other ones felt like Mars too, but this really feels like Mars. Yeah, this one has a feeling like it's a different place. They rent hardtails at the visitor center. I'll give you a helmet and a bike and you would be on your way and you know the route we're doing is pretty long but there's other road cutoffs that if unsuspecting tourists get in over their head they can kind of come back on the road and finish their ride early you can see here all these rocks stacked up and there's actually a little bit of concrete and stuff they've done a lot of work even though it looks completely natural. Although the world is only 5,000 years old. Yeah. <laughs> hundreds of millions of years of rock here. Yeah. It's really special. Israel is a cross country rider's dream. There's tons and tons of mileage for really cool rides. But despite my channel being called BKXC, I'm not much into the, the constant pedaling kind of stuff. I'm way more enduro now and at first I called my channel BKXC because where I'm from Northern California cross-country races were just big climbs and big descents and you're going on this big adventure but <laughs> as I traveled more I realized that uh, everywhere else in the world cross-country is just kind of like this <laughs> up and down up and down so now I'm BK across the countries instead of BK cross-country <laughs> Death pit. <sighs> Whenever I see tons and tons of rocks and sand like this, I think about the whole thing where there's billions of stars in every galaxy and there's billions of galaxies. And I make that comparison because they say there's more stars in the universe than grains of sand or rocks on Earth. <laughs> Dirt surfer. Wow. This is pretty cool. Oh. <laughs> Watch out for that sand. I see the holes. Oh. Where others have fallen. We've got a little archaeological site we're going to check out. 
So this is an example of a mine shaft that you would crawl into. These are the stairs to get up. <laughs> How much, I guess you drop the copper down, little by little. Tall said this is the least dusty <laughs> he's ever had it in these desert rides. Pretty lucky. The big rain came just before I arrived and we get the benefit, we get the reward. Oh, easy on the brakes, easy on the gears, oh man. Cool. Pretty good facilities at the visitor center. There's water, there's snacks, bathrooms, and then another bathroom right here. That was a great spot for a snack break in the shade. I'm doing decent with my element electrolyte drink. Man, it, it's like you always want to bring more, but you don't want to bring too much. And it's not that hot, but still coming from a colder, temperatures and stuff in California and then coming here the shock the last time I remember getting really bad cramps was during the BC bike race where the first couple days were very cool and just fine and then there was a pretty warm day where I immediately just drank my water and didn't have enough electrolytes it hit hard The most helpless feeling but at least we had aid stations in the race so you just gobble down as much food as you can stand we yeah there we go oh that's pretty good berm Could have been a little bit longer. We saw an American couple on these really cool fat bike e-bikes. They were taking the roads, but that would be rad <laughs> for this trail. You could blaze through it. Tall said that most people in Israel are switching to e-bikes more and more and more. <laughs> Chunky. Man, I'm glad we did this. This is very cool. There's definitely a few you know, desert slogs where we were just going with nothing going on. But man, all this stuff is so interesting. Ooh. Oh man, a little hard to see the trail on here. Whew. 
<laughs> Death turn. That's cool. <laughs> this is an adventure. <laughs> On the weekends, there's more people out, but on a weekday like today, <laughs> seen maybe three people and nobody mountain biking. Whew. Sandy! <laughs> Uh-oh, the clunks in the drivetrain are getting clunkier. Usually that just means like a a loose through axle, but what do you got going here? Fail the visual inspection again. Whoa, brake rear brake rotor is super loose. I did a bolt check this morning, but I did not look at the brake rotors. Wow, I wonder if there's any laying out there on the trail. No, they're all here. <laughs> Crazy. So the question is, why would a loose brake rotor impact my shifting so much? I don't think it's related, <laughs> but it had to be, right? <laughs> wow, whoa. Man, it feels like the start of the ride was like four hours ago. <laughs> Tall was saying that if you build a trail like this in the desert, it's gonna be here for hundreds of years. So you really wanna do it right. He said there was a trail that was built a few years ago in the north that at first everybody was excited about. Wow, new trail. But then it really wasn't that interesting or much of a destination. So it's basically growing over and disappearing. So up there, if you build a bad trail, no big deal. <laughs> the earth will take it back. Whoa. <laughs> build berms better or no build berms bigger there we go <laughs> that's my platform i'm running for president in 2024 oh. cool whoa the volcanic Ha <laughs> 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 Man, lots of cool sections like that. Feeling the heat now. We've been out of the clouds for a while. Uh oh. That's never happened before, or to every single person riding the trail. <laughs> this might take the crown away from 
the Mata Hay Trail in North Dakota for being the most interesting trail in the world. Most interesting trail I've ever ridden. Just that when all the sites and the geology is all so different, it's fascinating. So many places are just trees and that's you know all you see you're in the forest you see the trees okay we made it to the lake i think it's more of a pond than a lake but hey it's israel there's not that many <laughs> lakes we rolled into this oasis here and i did a water refill and grabbed a delicious ice cream and then mike and i both got a little coaching session from tall there's always something that we can work on to make us better riders. This was a great exercise showing how you don't have a strong base if you keep your heels up, but if you keep your heels down, you have a lot more leverage against the bike and it keeps you solid. Tall is such a good coach. He's helped more than a thousand people get better on the mountain bike at this point. And as I mentioned before, he's launching his brand new online coaching website called Ridebox. It's online video lessons that you can take with you anywhere on any device to help practice out on the trail, in the parking lot, in a grass field. And then you record yourself doing those lessons and you can get online coaching, direct feedback, upload the videos, Tall and his team will actually look at it, give you feedback, and that's how you really, really get better on the bike. Ridebox did not sponsor this video, but Tall put together this entire Israel trip, so I thought a shout out was well deserved. Long day in the sun. My butt's feeling okay. Yesterday it was hurting. Today it's been good. Just gotta get it calloused up. We made it back. Whew. After that big old ride, we all required a big old meal and we got some fantastic shawarma. First time I've ever had it, I think. It's just a big old wrap with meat and veggies and just all kinds of good stuff in there. It was just a random roadside spot and it was fantastic. We also got some local wildlife action while we were sitting there eating. And then we headed back to the north of Israel Tons and tons of crazy rain. That's why we didn't end up riding anything in the north. It was all deluged at this point. But we did get to visit the iconic Chain Brain bike shop in the Daliet El Carmel village. If you've ridden in Israel, you have seen this iconic skull guy with the mustache and the bike helmet. So cool. We had such a nice visit at the bike shop, chatting with the owner. I feel like we're already friends. And then the next day we headed back south and walked around the old city of Jerusalem. It is quite remarkable that some of the most holy, most important sites in Islam, Judaism, and Christianity are all within a three minute walk of each other. The Church of the Holy Sepulchre is said to be the site of the crucifixion of Jesus and the site of his tomb. It is a beautiful, massive monument. Whether you're religious or not, when you step into one of these cathedrals, you have to appreciate the hundreds of thousands of man hours of artisanal work that goes into building and crafting one of these cathedrals. Then we went over to the Western Wall. You may know it as the Wailing Wall, which is the holiest place that Jews can pray. It's believed that the Holy of Holies, the most sacred site in the Jewish faith, is right on the other side of the wall on the Temple Mount. The Temple Mount is also known as the Al-Aqsa Mosque in Islam, which also has the beautiful Dome of the Rock, which was built in 691, then collapsed in 1015, and was rebuilt in 1022, which means this thing has been standing for a thousand years. It's said to be the place where God created the world and Adam the first human. This is also believed to be the spot where Muhammad began his night journey. Unfortunately, the Muslim areas of the old city were closed off during my visit, so we could only see it from afar. There is just so much to see and do in Israel. We saw a nice little slice during my four days of riding. I am so grateful to be out and about doing these international trips, finding great trails to ride, finding great people to hang out with. It is the goal of this channel, and you guys are a huge part of that. 
Hop on to the Patreon if you want to directly support this channel. For three bucks a month, you'll get extended cut videos that come out early. This video is more than 45 minutes long on Patreon, and it came out a week ago. I've got plenty of places to go this year. I am just getting started. Thank you for being here. Do me a favor. Go ride something new, and maybe I'll see you on the trail.